What's up, guys? All right, so I'm hearing the news that Southgate is considering leaving his position. And from the bottom of my heart, I beg you, I beg you, do it. Do it. Because I'm seeing a lot of people on Twitter, like, honestly, I, I don't understand how, but I'm seeing a lot of people on Twitter literally criticising people like me you say Southgate needs to go. And I'm just looking at I'm looking at these tweets and I'm like, are you actually skunked, fam? Think about his decision making again and again and again when it comes to the big teams or the tougher opponents. USA, lackluster. You know, his decision making there. You, you know, you just got and you know, even going back to Croatia, that Croatia game, twenty eighteen how poor we played think about that the first decent team we had to face we lost we crumbled think about the nations league you know you remember how many people booed him and and in those two games remember that and then you're going back again to the um the summer last summer and how shit we were as well and when we finally faced a half decent team in denmark look at what look at what it took look at what it took for us to win that game, you know, even if we won yesterday or equalized, the Hurricane scores, we would had to, we we would have had to only we would had we would only um score by penalties. Is is that life? Just think about it. Like, think about his decision making, his substitutions, his tactics, his whole tenure, and people are gonna say, oh, he's brought people together. He stopped this whole um. Club, um, um, what do you call it? Um, um, section where, like, um, you know, clubs who who play together, you know, are more, are, are more, are, um, um, gonna be more, uh, uh, communicative with each other than the rest of the squad. I'm just like, no, no, there's not, there's no, there's, that's that's not enough to win a championship. Do you know what I'm saying? That is not enough to win a, a trophy. No. Premier League club, I swear down, bro. No Premier League club would appoint Southgate as a manager. No one. No 20, there's 20 Premier League clubs in the Premier League and none of them would would, would, would employ him. None of them. None of them, bro. Not even like, who, even, not even like, um, who sacks the manager? Watford. He was not even, Watford. Watford would not take Southgate. <laughs> Watford, who are notoriously known for sacking the manager after two days, fam, they would not take Southgate. We need to stop this because this is how we lose generation. You know, we need to be so cutthroat in this. In the F, the F need to be so cutthroat. We need to stop wasting generational talent. Luckily for us, luckily for us, the the players that are phenomenal are very young. You know, Saka is still twenty one. Bellingham is nineteen. Foden is twenty three. Rice is twenty three. And I think we've got like maybe 10 players, I think, in the squad that are 25 and under. You know what I'm saying? So it, it means that we've got at least a good three, four tournaments in these people, you know. So luckily for us, it won't be wasted and, and they will get into their prime as they get older. But we cannot waste this opportunity, man. Like we can't. Like then the next Euros is 18 months away, yeah. Cool. Let's get a new manager now. Like, honestly, Southgate, like, I'm being so serious with you. I applaud you for getting England this far and making us a very serious contender in tournaments. You know, like, before Southgate, I'll be honest with you, I never rated England as a team. Never rated them. Obviously, I'd want them to win. You know, but I would never rate them to do anything past, like, the group stages, I'll be honest with you. But I now have this confidence in them that they can do that. But he just holds us back. He really does hold us back. And the quicker people realise this, the better. Because when we look back in the next... 10, 15 years, I mean, think about the place we had in our disposal and how we didn't win anything about, from it. If you think about the whole God generation before that, and then when we had Skulls, Gerard, Lampard, and people still to this day 
2022, big man. To this day. That whole 2006 World Cup, bro. To this day, if I'm 16 years later, people are still thinking how the fuck we didn't win anything. And the same thing will happen if we don't get rid of this guy. It's like, it's just like, it's like who, it's like, in fact, this is even disrespectful to say this about him or compare it to him, but it's like Arsene Wenger, you know, Arsene Wenger got us, he won us three Premier League trophies, uh, seven FA Cups, you know, made an, an invincible season with ours, but, you know, it had, to, it was his time to go, you know what I'm saying? And... It took so long because of his achievements. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not comparing, please, because the guy hasn't even won anything. But I'm saying it's the exact same sentiment. Like, you don't want to tilt, you don't want to sackle or let go of a person because of what they've done for you. But sometimes you've got to cut the roots so you can grow from. You've got to cut the branch, sorry, so it can, it can grow. You've got to cut off the arm so the body can survive. Do you get it? And if we continue with this guy who's really and truly tactically inept he really is bro and especially he, and he's he's especially exposed when it comes to the bigger sides or the stronger sides it's 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 just a complete he's a setback man he's a setback and i really want him to step down i think i think that's how it will happen i don't think the effort will ever sack him i just think they, i don't think they would do that like i think he will come and say you know what? I think my time is done, and set back. And you know what? Then bring in Pochettino because I can honestly, I can really. And, and, and I know, you know people are thinking, oh, Pochettino hasn't won anything either. But I mean, he he has with PSG, hasn't he? But he, he, the work he did, even as an Arsenal fan, I've been honest. The work he did with Tottenham was sensational sensational he got them to a champions league final he has experience with coaching young players and building i can imagine imagine bellingham under pochettino like yeah you know just think about it like i look i just think it's 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 best for both parties you know it, I, I didn't expect him to do it i think the way he's talking and the, the quotes i'm here i'm seeing I think it's going to be. It's, it looks very likely that he will step down. If I'm being honest with you, I heard. I know Declan Rice came out and said that he's full support on it of it. And look, you know, I get it. You know, he's the manager that brought him into the England squad and made him a starter. He's the guy that's entrusted him with so much faith. I 100 get that. You back your boy. You back. You back the person that brought you up. 100. And I do rate Southgate in not always picking. The top, the traditional, the, the traditional top six sides of English players. Do you know what I'm saying? He's gone out and you know picked everybody who he thought was good, and I completely read. And I, I and that is one thing I can I will 100% praise him for, is not picking the same bullshit. But he does pick his own bullshit when he has his own clicks as well. Like he has his favorites as well. You know, Henderson starting yesterday and lasting as long as he did. Bringing on Mount and Sterling ahead of James Madison, Rashford. Like, you know, Rashford is a joint top scorer with Saka and he brings Mount on. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, he won the penalty, but yeah, what? I think I can tell I'm still pissed off about it because I really thought that this was like a really big opportunity. Like, I thought, look, if you saw my predictions before, I thought England were going to lose anyway. But... Just that will be um, outclassed because they just have a better team. But when you watch the game and you're thinking to yourself, all right, we concede and then we just pushed on from there. It's just more painful. Like, obviously, look, I, I, Harry Kane bottled it. That is 100% true. He bottled it. He bottled it. Because I don't think fans score, again, if I'm being honest, in for 90 minutes if we had so I feel like we we're going to extra have potentially penalties. Um but you know I think I think from we were all fooled from the 6-2 win against Iran and then the USA game really showed his in net to his in net tactics fam. He just he's just not good bro. He's holding us back with his 
tactics, his clicks, his favourites. He's just, honestly, what what gets me more riled up is because I know how good these players are. Like, the, the players that I've mentioned just now have world-class world potential, fam. World-class potential. And he's holding us back so much, fam. You, you lot don't understand, like, you lot don't understand. And it's going to be a huge, huge tragedy. Uh, I think even many of the people who are part of the golden generation have even said that this 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 um squad that we have now are better than them. Just think about it. The 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 squad that everyone thought was the best that England has ever had, even considering the fact that we've already won a tournament with England in 66, that was still better. The fact that they are saying that this common squad is better than them, come on now, come on. It entitles them to have a, a fantastic manager like Pochettino. I think Pochettino would be so good for England, bro. But, you know, I don't know, maybe... They want to employ people who are English. You know, I don't know. Like, after Fabio Capella, maybe it's like... I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know what's the thing behind it. I'm not saying that the... I'm not saying the FR is in the favor or anything like that. Maybe they, they would like that. I don't know. But... You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be an English manager, man. I can really see Pochettino doing bits in this team, man. I really can. I really, really can. Um, I'm just trying to think who else. They're probably... Maybe Eddie Howe, I'm thinking. I can see them trying to push Eddie Howe over Potter. I think Potter just came to Chelsea, you know, what, <laughs> three months ago or two months ago. So probably won't be him if he stepped down. You know, I would say probably Pochettino. Pochettino would be my first on the list. But if they want someone that's English, I probably think they would go for Howe instead of Potter, if I'm being honest with you. Um... Yeah, Eddie Howe's a better manager than Potter, in my opinion. I think so. Um, and, yeah. Just wants to make this video quickly. But, so, okay, if you're considering it, please, please take the take the lunge. Take, take that step down. Please, do it. For the sake of this nation, please do it. Thank you for all your services. Thank you for all the memories, you know. And we will never ever forget the the um twenty eighteen twenty eighteen World Cup run. We will never ever forget that. That was that will live in my memory for all time. And you know he's brought a certain bond and unity in this squad that I've never seen in, in England. And I thank you for that. But Everything has to come to an end. Sometimes we just reach our capacity and you can't give that 110%, you know? It's just because you can't and it's okay, you know? It's okay, like, you've done your best and that's all we can ask for. And when your best is not great and, you know, especially the talent we have, it, it's just, it's, un it's, un it's untenable, it's untenable. So, like I said, congrats. For everything you've done, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sure he will land on his feet somewhere. Um, maybe, well, maybe a Premier League club might take him one day. Who knows? Who knows? But I just think that anyone, I don't think nobody will touch him. I'll be honest with you. But who knows? Maybe they get desperate and they might get him. You know what I'm saying? But if he does step down, I, um, it, it will be, so, <laughs> it, it will be bittersweet at first. I think people who who really cherished him and understand, you know, were grateful for him. It would be bittersweet, you know, like, he'd be like, it had to happen. Thank you for the memories, you know? But as time goes on, it will be one of the best decisions, I promise you. And because I swear to you, if England do not have a new manager with this squad, we will never win anything ever. This is our best talent in God knows how long or ever, we have to take advantage of it, especially when, you know, your traditional teams like Spain and Germany are not at their full strength. You know, they will they will also have their own projects as well. 
trying to build their young German and, and Spanish and Spanish youngsters, they will have their projects as well. So whilst they're there in you know, Brazil, look at where they are now. You know what I'm saying? They were favourites to win it, but I wouldn't need them not gonna win it because I didn't really like their I didn't think they were that great if I'm being honest. And they were good, but I just I just someone just told me that they weren't gonna win it and I was right anyway. But you see where they came from Think about that 2014 World Cup. See where they are now. That took time. That took time. They brought in the talent. The, the talent was 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 unbelievable and, and made them favourites for this tournament. I don't make, I don't make the manager, but yeah. But all I'm saying is to conclude. It's just for the greater good. For the greater good, Southgate. Please resign. Anyways, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, all of that, all of that, all of that. Look, you know, it, it might sound harsh, you know, but I really do believe in this group of players. I really do. We've got some great individuals, and I just don't want to waste it, man. I really don't want to waste it. Sometimes you just got to cut off the arm to save the body, bro, I'll be honest. But, yeah, love for everyone watching. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. All that, all that, and I will see you lot in the next video.